Welcome to Factorio 100% Achievement Run. My name is Nida. So this is a brand new Factorio series that I'm starting here on my channel. As I just hinted at in the title, it is 100%, which means that in this series, I will be completing every single achievement in the game in a single series. Now that maybe sounds difficult or maybe sounds easy, depending on your perspective and how you, what you know about it. But it's... Um, it's not exactly a speed run, but it's certainly not a slow run that I usually do. So I have to build fast and efficient, which is I usually build slow and effective. But uh, here I need to build in a different way. So it's going to be very different base than what you used to see on my channel. No, no grand trains, at least to beginning. No, um, no. Um, no city blocks or anything like that. And uh, it'll, it'll be a challenge. And I'll get into the details of why that's a challenge. But first, what we need to do is we need to go under somewhere, settings, a weird option, other, delete achievements. I have to write delete. And like this, we have now deleted all of the achievements on Steam. And uh, yeah, so that's a fresh start. So I'm going to go in here and I'll explain some of the finer details of what's going on. Now, I have prepared a bit in advance as only good TV chef will do. I have prepared a map in advance. This map is a modified version of the speed, the any percent speed run that Nephroms has been, do, has been doing. So a big shout out to Nephroms, who is at the time of recording, the world record holder for both the any percent and also the 100% uh, achievement run. So um, yeah, as you watch this, you will probably see that some of his of the builds are very much inspired by him. So one of the things, the things that there are three achievements that are essential to a 100% run. And I want to run through those before we dive in because they are going to de uh, determine how everything is working. The first one is Lazy Bastard. I am only allowed to handcraft 111 items during the until I launch the first rocket. So that means everything will be difficult. No handcrafting, which is also a bit of a challenge for me. Second thing, there is no spoon. I have to launch a rocket before eight hours. That's, yeah, it's not a big deal, but adding a Lazy Bastard to it, it actually can become a bit of a challenge. So need to build fast and efficient. The third one that will determine sort of the win condition, the last one to get is going to be uh, the 100, well, 20 million green circuits completed. So that's the one that once we've launched the first rocket, we don't not have, we are allowed to handcraft and we can then scale up going from an ugly spaghetti base, I guess, to a really nice, efficient mega base of sort. Now, there's one more thing, and that's uh, getting on track like a pro. 90 minutes to lo to place the first train on tracks. It doesn't have to do anything. You just have to place the train, research it, place the train on the tracks. So on top of that, there are ways to fail during the run. You are not allowed to build laser charts because there's a achievement that says something like uh, bullets all the way. You're not allowed to build any solar or uranium because there's a, something with steam all the way. Uh, so I need to be only using steam and only using sort of bullets. I cannot disable the biters because they are going to be needed as well, but I can scale them down. I don't know if there's a uranium enchantment. I think there is. So I leave one uranium patch on the field. These are the settings. There's going to be huge patches because I don't care. I don't want, I want things to be easy to get to. Water, there will be water on the bay, on the map, not so much, but some. Trees, just turn it all the way down. We just need a few trees, but not much. Definitely take the cliffs off. Here, enemy bases. If you turn these down anywhere below below this, you disable some of the biter related achievements. So it has to be here. You can't do press this one. I can, however, make as big starting area as possible. I can disable enemy expansion. I can disable evolution. So the biters will not be a big deal. They'll actually be a trivial matter. The one thing that's also really important Research queue, set it because otherwise you're going to kill yourself. I don't know why this one is not always set. And the diffusion rate. This is how much pollution spreads to nearby chunks. And if I set, if I don't set pollution here, 
then I cannot trigger, it stinks that they don't like it. I think that's what it's called, where you trigger a biter attack for pollution. But if you do this, the pollution will not spread outside of the chunks. That means you will not trigger them at all. But only do that when you actually go into the same chunk that's right next to them and start mining there. So that's something we can do later on. Basically, the first objective will be getting, going towards making sure that we don't fail the LAT Bassett, going for the going on tracks like a pro. After that, that's a 90 minutes for the train, then going for launch a rocket. After that, we can, we have an open game that we can, where we can then do whatever the hell we want. And then uh, we can start really achieving hunting. So that's going to be a series. I would expect it's going to run about 30 episodes or something like that. So a good month of uh, playtime. It's going to run every day on my channel. So do check it out. And before we get it in, let me just do the usual YouTube spiel. I would very much appreciate any likes, shares, comments, all that stuff, especially for the first episode, because that's really where we set the tone for how popular or interesting this is going to be. So I think this is going to be interesting, entertaining, educational for all of you. That's at least my goal. And I think I've been talking enough, right? So let's dive into the game and set up the achievements and get started. Because as soon as we go, the timer starts rolling. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. All right, here we are in the game. We are ready to get started and the timers here I've set up the achievements we need. One hour and 30 minutes to launch, to set the trains. 111 handcrafts and eight minutes in total, eight hours in total to launch the first rocket. Here goes nothing. Let's see if I can remember all the things I need to do. First, we I'm to, in the beginning, I'm just gonna try to explain what I do and then we're gonna see. The first three episodes will be focused on getting, uh, yeah, so. I need to place these correctly. I'm going to place that one here. I'm going to place that one there, place that one there. And let's see if I can figure out how to place this correctly. Oh dear, this is tough. I think it's here. And that's one. And then I need to handcraft one, two. You can chop a few of these. So right now we start looking at the craft. We've crafted two things already. Go in here. That one's five. And this one, just put some more in here. 15, okay, that's enough. I can build that one. These are some of the additional craft that I can build in the beginning. And therefore I'll build them as soon as possible so we can really get the uses. This is controlling this Z key or Z key or whatever you want to call it. And there we go. All right. So what is it we want? We need to harvest as much as possible. Let's actually see how much we got here. That's a four plus three. That's four plus eight. Yeah. Okay. Now we have to be careful not to do too much. The next thing we want to do is a boiler and a steam engine. I'm just going to chop a bit of uh, wood here. Uh, sorry, a copper so we get that rolling because we need it. I'm just going to chop this to let's say 10 in our inventory. That means we've chopped a total of 40 and, and Okay, and now we go out to get some of these stone rock, uh, coal rocks. They are really essential for us because they give us a lot of stone and a lot of other things, right? So that one, we don't need to take the other one. We only go for straight for these. So very much in the beginning, I'm trying to do this as a speed run where we try to get as much of this as possible. So that's a stone, a coal rock, that's a coal rock. And then we have one going back. That's gonna be enough for us. This is not one. Go this one, we probably also need to cut down a few trees. I'll cut some of the trees down that are close to where we start because that will be helpful. And in the meantime, you can see time is just ticking away. Also, our crafts are ticking away. And let's see, I think this one might be one of the worst locations we need to take out. So what's uh, really crucial or critical is that 
once I get my crafts, then I my handcraft, then if I do a single handcraft after that, then I have completely failed the game and have to start over. So I need to be a bit careful about it. And that should be, I don't know if it's enough. I need to go here. So unfortunately, one of the things when doing a speed run is that it's going to be very dark and gloomy because lights are a bit of a short supply. I will add lights, but I will not add lights right now. So what I need to build now is one boiler, one steam engine, did I get? Nope. One steam engine and one offshore pump and one small electric pole. Then we can start chopping some more here while we do this. Then we need also some red signs. And this is where we need to chop, 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 chop. I'm going to chop this to, I think I need about 40 or 45 to get all the stuff done we need to get done in the beginning. So that's, uh, and that was 10. So you go in, you go out here, and then I take. Oh, that one's almost running out. I'm just chopping this up to 10. Pick up, pick up, pick up. And then we need to go 10 of these. I go to this one. We need to make sure we get this uh, the automation because that's when we can start automating stuff. And I think I should build my, I shouldn't think I should build it here, actually. Um, maybe that will actually work. I don't know. I think I'll take this one out just because. There. That one. Now as small as possible fuel location. That one. Here. And, oh yeah, we probably also need a the wrong sequence. Ha! Take these out, and that's still not enough. Yeah, I forgot. Kind of need this, and I hope I didn't mess everything up because that's one of the most expensive parts. This one, uh, that's a lot of crafts going in here. One, and then we chop down 10 more while we wait for this one to craft. So you can see that our crafts are really ticking up fast, and there's no way to not do this because you need to be able to create a lab to get the automation rolling. Now the only thing is whether it is kind of enough or not enough. If I miss something. And right there, that's another 10. And I can now do one, two, three, four. That'll be exactly, exactly what we need. And I'll just chop five more of these. Actually, I don't think I should. I should be going over there just to place it. But now I'm gonna do those five. Just so that is done. Five. Get that. And it will start working. And I need to put these in. Very important that it is set to automation. We are getting our first research. Now we do the stuff we needed in order to see when I'm, I'm playing on a single player, which means the timer actually stops. This means it cannot register as a speedrun according to the rules of speedrun. I don't care because it's not a speed run. And what is it I want to do? Oh yeah, I wanted to see the recipe. So that's five gears and three electronic circuits. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe. That should be it. And I have one single craft remaining. Woohoo! And I will just spend the time here chopping some of these things that I think might be in the way. This is probably where I could have chopped some of the wood, but I don't need to be in this location because I'm not going to be placing anything else. Uh, let's get some more wood because we are going to need that for, well, power poles at some point. Let's eight more. We have a bit more here. Get this up to 15, get this up to 15. Uh, this one doesn't have anything, so it doesn't matter. And now it's really important not to mess things up. Haha. <laughs> we have just a bit here and just a bit here. And that means we are going to get just the last thing. Come on. Automation science. Go, 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 go. 
It's so tempting just to start handcrafting now, but if I do it, it's the failed run. I have one craft remaining, and then I'm gonna be doing this. All right, we got it. And here we go. That means you go here, advocate one of those. Now I've crafted everything I can. This one's updated. Now I'll do some trick permissions. I'll go in here, change my own, and then say I am no longer allowed to craft because that means if I do this, it doesn't work. I am no longer allowed to craft and that's how I'm going to save myself from stupidity. Ta-da! What are we going to build first? We are first going to build the ingredients we need for power poles. Here, get some power poles, otherwise we can't get back to the base. And because we want to get some power at that location, let's take this, take this out as well. Mm. And that's not the right location. One, two, three, I think. So that's all the production we have. Now at this point, what we're going to build now is we are going to make some furnaces. That one. What? Here. Ah, that's the one. Yes. Ha. See, I would have failed this one. We are going to make more miners. Let's get that one out of the way. Actually not. We can just mark it to the one we want. Next. Let's take that one. That one. That one. That one. I don't know. We'll, we'll just grab random stuff. All right, we got enough, and then I'll make some gears. What is it? Three gears, I guess. Nine gears. That will be enough. Here, and then we make some miners. Just click it all in here. Got it. Here. There, so now that's at least up and running. These two, great. And I'll just, in the meantime, just get this one running. One, two, one, two. And that's enough. We are going to continue with this. I'll build another round. Now this is all about sort of gradually scaling up. Here and then I'll build. There should be three more of these. That one. And the next ones here, these two will be. Ah oh dear, how do I do this? I can't remember how to do this. And um, I think I'll just do it this way and then figure out figure out from there. Get these, get these. And I think we'll build more of this. Uh, let's see, let's go get more assemblers. You know, I could actually build two more because I kind of feel we are low on, on coal very soon. So let's build two more of these. There. That should be two. And now I want to make some, uh, that's actually a problem. Oh, I forgot this. I should be uh, rolling this. Now I want here. So let's see, two, three. I just realized I made a mistake. Yeah, get some wires. I want this one. So this is how much I want right now. Right now it's just rushing to get up here. And how much do I have? There we go. Oh, and yeah, one, two, that should be six green circuits we want to build. That's six green circuits. 
And I don't know why I built so many wires for that green circuits. Let's get some of these so we can get some assemblers going so we can get scaling up from here as well. Um, I think, is it five for each? I don't know. Let's get a few more of these. There we go. One, two. And then from here on, I think we transition into just building stuff. One, two. Problem with this is all that crap on the ground, which is something I would never allow usually. But um, yeah, well, and here we just built stuff. That one can still build some, this one. Uh, you know what I can actually do? First one here. That one could be here. And we can build some more stuff. If you got these two, we can build it here. This one could then be changed into assemblers or inserters. Oops, there. Pick up more. So at this point, it's just a very, very slow scale up because things are going very, very slowly. And that's going to be here. Boom. Oh, crap. That's actually now I remember the mistake. It's going to be like this. And I don't have that. This is going to be here. Ah, easy. Now, as long as I do it this way, I can't really make mistakes. Haha. -ha. And this one should be taken out. I will be making some of these. That should work. Look at that. First automation bit. This one. Great. And let's build some of these. We have 100. And I think one of the next things will be scaling up our power supply. And taking this one out. This one's fine. It's just more green circuits, right? Always do this. And here. Probably didn't want to do this. Gears. Just always make gears, actually. Here. And we can always scale up more. And these can always do something else if I need it. Right. So, power. Now that's like a, a, an initial setup here that's going to be fine but for just some of the stuff. But what we need to make is actually we need to change this one into making some of these because we're kind of short on those. That means this one isn't working, but that's kind of okay. And what I also need... Oh, that one's great. Except now I can do this one. And is that what I want? No, it's actually not what I want. It's a point. It doesn't really matter that much. We are going to get some more things here. Uh, we need more more of this. How many we got? Two. Let's put those in here. There we go. So that's now eight of this. Which means now I can kind of start doing this and this one. We haven't picked up any of this recently. Here, that's four. I need, I think I need a bit more than this, right? Because once I stop making it, I'm never gonna pick it up again. And that's four. This one, just keep going. And then it might be time. Okay, so this one is stuck now, right? Yes, it's stuck. Let's go back to making gears because that's always something you need and we can go like this is five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen that should have been fourteen how is this not fourteen because that sucks that it's not fourteen did i miss the place it yes i did i misplayed everything god damn it it should have been up here so is this worth doing it's definitely a mistake it's definitely a mistake doing making I lose time. If this was a speedrun, this would be like, just restart. But it's not a speedrun. I don't care about these five five minutes or two minutes or one minute. It goes by. I think we'll have time enough to do what we need. So the point here is, 
that if I do this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Right? Copy. Fourteen. Yes, I want fourteen. Now I'm missing one. Yes, I'm missing one. And then I put this again up here. One, two, two, one, two. And that means something like this one is still gonna exist. And that will be this one. This one's good copper. And I can put this in here. I think this one should be the one up then. And there's still some you know, I think I'm going to do this, which is going to burn through it really quickly. That one here. And actually, that one can go in here. You can go to that one. All right, let's get more coal. That's kind of important. And we need to build more coal here. This one is going to be, nope. It's to be, no, still not. That one. And that's going to be just one, two, three, maybe. Just one more there. How many? One, two. That's going to be enough, actually. I think. Now I just take all of these. One, one, and then take. I think I need a few more coal here. And let's, uh, let's build those. Got it. Here. It's built. Oh, that's not enough. Uh, that's two. That's not enough. I need four. Wow, that's a lot. Uh, that's four. Perfect. Change recipe. That one goes in here. And that's going to be four additional. What is that going to be like? One, or is it one, two, three, four, that one. And it still goes a big loop. Should be fine here. Oops, put too many in there. And now we can do a nice clean sweep along the way here. And nice clean sweep here. And what is the next thing we want to build? Our power is going to run up very, very quickly. So let's get some of the... Okay, that's kind of... Um, it's kind of something I forgot to deal with. How many? It's not enough. There. Two. One, two, three. One, two, two. Yeah. And let's build. Just make gears. You always need more gears. And over here, we need these. And one of the blocks. Oh, that should be this location. Boom. So we got a few of these set up like that. And power, as you can see, we are going to continue working on this. All right. What can we build? We can build this one. No, we cannot. We need to build this. And you're happy. Ah, you're not happy. You're not happy unless you put it into a box. So put it into a damn box. Otherwise you get stuck easily. This one as well. You can also put it into a box if that's going to make you happy. And there. This one. As long as you force feed it in here, then it's going to be fine. This one is still having plenty of copper. And I know my copper is on my... This is running out soon, so how much do I need? You need to build like uh, three power, do you have six of these or five of these? How much can I build? One, two, three, four, four, five. That's it. And this one, one, two, that's also enough. And let's build this just uh, random things here. Do we have some pipes left? Nope, we do not. Got it. 
And we need some coal before going over to the power plant. And we have one power, yes. So let's go over here before it runs out completely. We are down to 29, so that's actually not so bad. And I'm gonna do this awful speed running setup, which I absolutely hate, but um, yeah, I kind of have to. Pipes go down there, one, two, three. You could build it with uh, other inserters, but I don't like it. And that, no. That's it. Why? Okay, that was something wrong that was put out there. And that's also something wrong. All right, it works. And that's that one. Let's uh, work our way towards getting some upgrades on power, or maybe naturally not. What we will do is we will be wrapping up this episode. So what we've done is we got our 111 crafts completed that's a good step forward in our little base here and uh, i'm gonna be uh, wrapping up this one i'll see you guys in the next episode hope you're liking the very first one it's certainly something different from what i usually do i'm just gonna pause it because i don't want to spend my time here while i outro so i hope you have enjoyed it and if you have hit the like button hit the share button hit the comment section below with the, your advice your this is misplaced by one where are the lights where are my city blocks all the good stuff that i so love to see i'll see you guys in the next episode until then take care and stay effective